Good evening, everybody. I know that right now I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I know that everybody that's listening around the world is exactly where they're supposed to be doing, exactly what they're supposed to be doing in this moment. And I know that because for 18 years with the world famous Harlem Globetrotters, I witnessed it with my own eyes. The world is a great place. We just have to give it a chance. I've traveled to nearly 90 countries around the world, 90, every state. Five, six times I've been to all of them. And kindness is free. It costs us nothing to give it away with abundance. If you don't learn anything today from what I have to say, the world will know that kindness is free. You see, they call me flight time because of my jumping ability. But now they call me flight time because I'm spreading joy high in the sky and it's going all around the world. 90 countries I've been to, the streets I've walked, the places I've been, people haven't seen and I'm here for a reason, to bring joy, to bring kindness, all the things that we've been holding on to inside this time right now to let it go. You see, for 18 years, God blessed me this opportunity and everything that happened happened for a reason. The good, the bad, I learned from it. And we all here to learn from it. You see, they call me flight time. 18 years after the games, you know, over the course of time, I wasn't quite flying as high as I wished that I could fly. And little kids would come up to me after the game, oh, flight time, flight time, can I get your autograph, can I get your autograph, but why they call you flight time? You didn't even dunk. And I said, you know what, it's about 12 years into this, I'm gonna have to come up with something. So it happened again, and it happened again. And I would tell them, hey, if you want to see why they call me flight time, go look at the 1998 College Slam Dunk Contest. I won the dunk contest. I had to send them to YouTube. Because <laughs> I felt like I couldn't fly no more. But I came up with something, though. I told them, I said, one of them came and asked me one night. He said, flight time, flight time, can I get your autograph? Can I get your autograph? Please. He said, but I didn't see you dunk tonight. I said, well, they used to call me flight time for my dunking ability. But now they call me flight time because I'm always on time for my flights. And the world's seen it. <laughs> the idea that I would like to share with you all today and the world, no matter where you're listening, in your car, a boat, a plane, ship, walking, bicycle, whatever it is you're doing, wherever you're listening, kindness is free. Don't cost you nothing. I won't do that again. But kindness is free. It costs you absolutely nothing to be kind. And as we continue to make this journey around the world, let's realize that we're all here for a purpose. And that purpose is bigger than each one of us. So growing up in Brinkley, Arkansas, Things, it's a small town, population of about 3,500. I think now it's probably about 2,500 because maybe a couple of dogs and cats passed away along the way. But we got a couple stoplights that start flashing red at 10 o'clock at night. And coming from a place like that, it may seem impossible to be able to achieve some of the things that we dream of. But we get to keep dreaming. No matter how old you are, it's not over. It's not over. You still got a chance. Kindness is free. Who can you help? There's a reason why I'm on this stage. There's a reason. Because I've been kind, and people have been kind to me. Kindness is free. Give it away. It's within all of us. Who needs your kindness right now? Teachers, coaches. Oh, I'm gonna talk to the politicians too. Oh, I've been waiting a long time for this. Kindness is free. What are you holding on to? We got people afraid to talk to humans, human beings that walk around just like me, just like you. Oh, I heard the other day Elon Musk, he bought Twitter for 44 mil. I think I can get it for a day, can I? Can I let the world know for a day that kindness is free? I know he listened to TEDx, but I just listened to him the other day talk on TEDx for about an hour. Let's change the world, y'all. It's time. There's a reason why we took that pause in 2000. I don't know what religion you are. I don't even care. My grandmother, 
She used to drive me around when I was a kid. She didn't drive me around. We used to go around traveling with the church to revivals, tent revivals, spreading the word, spreading the good news. And I learned from this. There was a reason. There was a reason why she took me to all these different places. She was preparing me to let the world know that kindness is free. You guys getting it? It costs you nothing. Give it away with abundance, knowing that it'll always come back to you. You see, things ain't always been easy in my life. I had to work, and I still get to work. When the Globetrotters called me in 2017 and let me know that my career was over with, it was tough. It was tough. I cried for a couple days. But at the same time, I realized, I'm like, why am I feeling sorry for myself? I've had an opportunity to travel all around the world, 90 different countries, three times, losing on the Amazing Race, but I had a good time doing it. <laughs> I saw the world. Every time I would come home from my trips, I would tell my friends the stories of the places I've been, the people I've seen, and I survived. These people took care of me. 90 countries, all we hoped for when we traveled and when we met people was happiness, joy, all around the world. They want the same thing. Trust me, I've met them. They just want joy, y'all. We got to let it go. We got to stop thinking about ourselves. It's not about you. It's not about me. Because what I'm doing is changing the world. And what you're doing is changing the world right here. In the beginning, they said this is the 10th anniversary. That means something. That means something. That means it's going to be a 20th anniversary. It's going to be a 30th anniversary. But when they look back at that 10th one, they're going to remember her flight time lane. They're going to remember Ira. They're going to remember you, Bianca. The world going to remember you. Right here in Wilmington, magic is happening. All around the world right now, magic is happening. Can you see it? I feel like doing the grid. I don't know if I'm, I don't kids do it. I'm a globe trotter. We got to put on the show, y'all. We got to have fun. Kindness is free and kindness is fun. Cost you nothing to be kind. Give it away. I call myself, you know, when I think about things that I've been able to do, the money I've been able to make, the places I've been able to, I've been around the world again, the message for the world, the places I've been able to see, the things I've been able to do. So much gratitude comes from within my soul. I can feel my grandmother's energy rolling down through my veins. She's still alive. There's a reason why she took me to New York City on the Greyhound bus when I was four years old. Who would have known I'd play for the Globetrotters? It was meant for me to see the world. It's meant for you to see the world. Get a passport. One thing I learned from traveling around the world is Americans don't have passports because we think everything that's happening in this world is only happening in the United States. That's not true. Ain't that right world? Ain't that right Ukraine? We care about you. Russia, they gonna figure it out. Putin, you human. You had a family. You got kids. It's time to change the world, y'all. It's time. They said magic is happening. The universe is tired of us not standing up for ourselves and not standing up for people. We get to do better. I've been warming up for this for a long time, y'all. When they called me in 2017 and told me that my time was up, it hurt. But I realized, how lucky am I to be able to have held this position for 18 years, and I began to think about the people that were going to come behind me and have the same opportunity that I had and that I still have. 18 years, how selfish of me to hold that position and then feel sorry for myself when they call me and tell me it's over with. How selfish of me, but how thoughtful of me to be able to realize that the same people who fired me are the same people who gave me the opportunity. And that same opportunity that they gave me is the same opportunity I'm using to be up on this stage right now. Y'all hear me? Y'all having fun yet? The world needs to know, right? 
Kindness is what? Free. Kindness is what? Free. Okay, let me tell you all about this shirt I got on, okay? So one thing I learned about the Globetrotters, 18 years, last couple years I was player coach. And when you're in a business, figure out what's going on. Don't just be in there. When you get a job, you need to figure out how I'm going to get the next job. What can I learn from this one to get the next one? For 18 years, they gave me a whole bunch of stuff. And now I'm giving it all to you. The world gave it to me, so it's only right that I give it back. The world want me to tell you guys that kindness is free. I'm just warming up. They said I got four more minutes. Mm -mm -mm. All the way from Toronto, Canada to CN Tower, kindness is free. To the beaches of Miami, all the way to Barcelona, Spain, kindness is free. As you sit right here in this place tonight in Wilmington, Delaware, on the 10th anniversary of the TED Talk, kindness is free. You see, when I wrote a book, yeah, I wrote a book, two-time best-selling author. I'm not just a basketball player. Did you hear the intro? I'm still writing. It sounded good. It made me feel good. It made me want to jump. They call me flight time for a reason, because it's time to let the world know that what? Oh, y'all got it. Y'all sitting at home right now. You driving in your car, and you saying kindness is free. I can't wait to go home and tell my husband that kindness is free. I can't wait to go home and tell my wife. She over there, kindness is free. I love you, baby. <laughs> I told my wife we're going to change the world. She didn't know it. She thought I was crazy. Some people think y'all crazy, too, but sometimes your dreams are bigger than other people can imagine. I've been walking, y'all, every day. If you follow my social media, I'm walking. Come walk with me. I'm putting out positive messages every day. When I wake up in the morning, I send positivity out. 50, 100 text messages after I finish my 10 minute meditation to get my mind right. With those messages that I send, it's all positive. It's all positive. And sometimes when I wake up, and I may not be feeling like I'm in the best mood, but I know that I get to get up and write messages to the people who have helped me, to the people who need me. And sometimes I may not be feeling my best, but when I send those messages and I hit that love button emoji, you know, when I hit that starry eyes or that smiley face, oh, it makes me feel good. It lets me know that what I do is worth it. It lets me know that the universe, the God, whichever one you serve, I don't care. My dad's a preacher. My grandmother wanted me to be an evangelist, but I said, you know what? I seen the world, so I can't choose sides. So I'm with all of y'all. When I get to heaven, y'all got to come to the middle, because I'm already there. Y'all hear me? I'm just warming up. And I ain't got but two more minutes. This mic done fell off and everything. <laughs> I wrote a book called Projects, Popes, and Presidents. And in that book, I'll talk about growing up in the projects of Brinkley, Arkansas. Oh, what a great experience. Oh, I said great with the projects. You wouldn't believe it. It was a blessing. When I was in eighth grade, I had a chance to shake the hands with then Governor Bill Clinton, thanks to Salvador Loretz, my history teacher. He was human. Traveled the world. Met President Obama not once but twice at the White House. Check my social media. I got a picture of me standing over him doing push-ups because he missed a jump shot. You know he think he can hoop. We hoop twice. We're on a documentary together, team that changed the world. And guess what? He was human like me. Projects, Popes, and Presidents. Met Pope Francis. Guess what? Kind eyes. Good man. He was funny. He was excited. And guess what he said? Pray for me. The Pope asked me to pray for him. So guess what? I prayed for him. I'm still praying for him. I'm praying for you too. You matter. Whatever it is that you've been holding on to that's stopping you from going to that next level, let it go. When I go around and I talk to kids at the schools, I talk about the keys, and it's an acronym. Each one of you guys 
You are a key. Your body is special. It's different than any other person that's standing next to you. And those keys, they stand for keeping, excitement. Four, because that was my number with the Globe Trotters. Your success, K-E-Y-S, to keep, to maintain possession of. A key is a tool, unique object that's used to start engines, open up doors. Use your key. Kindness is free. It costs you nothing to be kind. All the way to Miami, to the Great Barrier Reef of Australia, all the way on the west side to Perth. Kindness is free. Let me take you to Cape Town, South Africa, all the way up to Djibouti, Africa. They got a military base there. I've been there. To the Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier, where I got to entertain the troops. Kindness was free. Let me stop before I start crying. They can make one of them memes of me, but it's going to be a happy, a happy <laughs> meme. <sighs> Wish I had more time. That's almost my time, but before I go, I have one more thing I'd like to do. I have this basketball. And the way that I see this basketball is the world. And this basketball has a barcode on it. And this barcode has a message. Oh, there's more where that came from. And what I'm going to do is, right now, I'm going to pass the ball. Ooh, sweet whip thing. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, I didn't even know I was going to do this. Let's go, baby. Also, last thing I want to say, I've been saying kindness is free with my mouth. My wife, she really wanted me to wear this shirt because I got kindness in the middle of my chest. But guess what? If I pull it down right here, I can say it with my heart. Y'all want to say it with me? One, two, three.